Oh, I just want to slap your grandmama. What? That's so good, it makes you want to slap your grandma. You ever heard that? No. You've no. never heard that? No. Really? We're the Jones family and we travel the world and have been traveling the world for the last three years with our two sons. So in case you have never seen a video of us before, that's who we are and that's what we do. Well, good morning from Istanbul, Turkey. Holy moly, guys, it has been um, five and a half months, almost six months since we actually did any filming whatsoever. Uh, this whole uh, thing that uh, shall not be named has really uh, uh, put us uh, on the outs as far as uh, traveling goes, which, you know, obviously is very understandable. Uh, but here we are, we're in Istanbul. And uh, this is our video that we're just trying to get out to let everybody know our first impressions. We've been here for a couple days. Uh, right now is a rainy morning, but uh, usually it's the first rain day since we've been here. Yeah. yeah. We've only been here for three days. Most of the time, the weather has been actually really awesome. It's cool uh, in the mornings. It's cool in the evenings. Uh, it is pretty darn hot during the day though, but uh, we uh, hear that that's getting ready to come to an end because it's gonna start cooling down, which, which we're gonna like. We've been in Malaysia for the last nine months and it was hot, so we're ready for some cooler weather for sure. So yeah, we just spent nine months in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and you saw that we visited various areas in Malaysia and that was awesome. And then uh, the thing that shall not be named occurred and then we were kind of stuck and we are very glad to be in Istanbul and are really liking it so far. So our trip here actually was very smooth. It uh, took a while at the ticketing booth to check in uh, to leave and that actually took longer than when we arrived to get through immigration. Yeah, the airlines was uh, all the red tape. Uh, immigration yeah. was, was smooth. But uh, you could tell that they had all different kinds of new things they had to fill in and specific steps they had to take to make sure that you could go to where you were trying to get to. So it wasn't really the guy's fault. It's all the stuff that they have to do. Yeah, it almost, I was almost a little freaked out because like, so did you guys get, uh, you, know, you know, the thing that shouldn't be named tests? Uh, I'm like, uh, no, I didn't know we had to. But he's like, oh, it's okay. So... But it, yeah. was, it was a little it was a little bit nerve wracking for a second. Like, did we miss something? Right. Because when we showed up to the airport, it was like we didn't know what was going on because none of the booths were open and we were yeah. told. Uh, all the lights were off, too, basically. Yeah. Just it was about dark. all if the you lights. Saw the live off. stream, it was like ghost town in there. Yeah. So it was a little odd. Yeah. Only the few shops that were open had their lights on. Yeah. And then, like, 20 minutes before the check in booth opened or check in desk opened, did they turn in turn on all the airport lights above? Anyway, we digress. Let's go back to Istanbul. Istanbul. We're in Istanbul. Yes. Darn it. And we are. Well, hold on, hold on. I don't know. You know, we'll just, just give us a minute. We'll tell you what our impressions are. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the flight was easy. Um, you don't have any choices of what food you're getting or what drinks you're having. Everything is paper bagged right now. Uh, just because of uh, regulations. You have to wear a mask pretty much the whole time. Uh, uh, only people are sat every other seat. Even between family, we had a seat between each two of us, uh, which was nice. We really liked the extra room. It was, it was nice. I mean, it's not like, you know, I couldn't get up and, you know, sit next to Amy or something like that, but you know, it, it gave us extra room, the boys, yeah. you know, having a seat between those two. <laughs> <laughs> It's not, a, it's not a bad thing at all. Yeah. Yeah, everything went really smoothly, and the only shops that are really open is on the other side of Customs. Um, I didn't necessarily notice any restaurants opened, uh, but uh, you can get your SIM cards, and you can get electronics and stuff like that. Yeah, and we just picked up some SIM cards at the airport for uh, mine and Amy's phone. 
Uh, it was like maybe 30 bucks a piece for one month with, the, you know, they say 50 gigs, but it's not really 50 gigs. It's like, you know, five gigs of this, five gigs of this. But anyway, it was, yeah. it's plenty of it's plenty of uh, of data for us. Uh, since we have, uh, you know, Wi-Fi here at the Airbnb. And mm-hmm. by the way, we are at, you know, this Airbnb here in uh, Taksim area, uh, really close to Taksim Square. Yep. It's about a five-minute walk. Yeah, really quick walk mm-hmm. and uh, really easy to get to. Extremely, I mean, we'll get into this more, but Istanbul is extremely walkable. So walkable. Love it. It is fantastic. So there's a, there's a lot of things about Istanbul already I can tell you that go well with uh, us. And we'll, we'll get into that in just a second. Uh, but I just wanted to uh, point out that we got in at 4.30 a.m. Mm-hmm. So uh, we were just, just <laughs> you know, just... Walking zombies? Yes. <laughs> so first order of business when we got here was to, you know, get our luggage in and kind of get settled. But right away we were, you know, we want breakfast. Mm-hmm. So we had seen videos of these, you know, panoply of food, the smorgasbord of all these Turkish delectables, you know, yep. spread across a table. And we had to have that. So we looked mm-hmm. up, you know, whatever's close uh, breakfast place. We found one that had really good reviews. So we uh, hiked it maybe 20 minute walk uh, mm-hmm. to there. And it was such a nice, crisp morning, uh, cool breeze. Mm-hmm. We're right by the sea here. And it was just so nice. And um, the breakfast was fabulous. It yeah. was so good. It's like totally a Jones style breakfast because when we order meals, right? When we have a meal, we have a cultural meal. We want to have a meal, you know, we want to have a big meal. We want to try everything. So right away, we are like, we are just in with this meal. We're like, (laughs) this is our style. Anyway, I don't know the names of all the items on the breakfast menu, but there was olives and cheese and nut butters and, um, Drizzled in honey. Yeah, lots Things. of honey. Yeah. Which makes... And a dish of honey. Yeah. And yeah, you're right. And uh, the, the the kind of like jammed fruits or mm-hmm. sugared or syrup fruits. Compote. Compote. Yeah, maybe. Closest thing that we know is a compote. Yeah. yeah. But it was fantastic. Yeah. And uh, the nonstop refilling of bread and the nonstop tea. Yeah, the non the ever the endless bread basket. Yeah. That of the of the uh, I mean I guess that's a common thing. We've had one Turkish breakfast, so I can't say that that's the case everywhere. We we really don't know, but it seemed like it. I know for sure that the uh, endless tea refills is definitely a Turkish thing. I know that. Definitely reminded me of Pakistan. Yeah. Your your cup gets to half full and it gets refilled. Yeah, constantly. And they're like, I'm trying to tell the guy, okay, I'm done. He goes, I have one more tea. You should have another. (laughs) You should have one more tea. I'm like, okay, fine. I'll have one more tea. Uh, But as soon as you drink it halfway, coming back. Yep. So, uh. Anyway, so we're walking around, you know, we, you know, we like to walk off breakfast. We're dead, but we don't want to, you know, we don't want to just rest. We want to get out there. Plus, you know, we want mm-hmm. to stay awake to get back used on to schedule. It. Yeah. Uh, so we're walking around. And one thing that I did notice right away was all the cats. Yeah. And, and that there's, uh, people leave out water, you know, uh, water jugs cut in half, just tons of fresh water and dishes of cat food sometimes just a pile of cat food but most of the time you'll see it like in an actual dish there's some dogs uh some doggos hanging out uh so it just seems really friendly it's a real just it just was easy to walk around we just kind of walked wherever right we didn't you know we don't know if there's any you know bad areas of uh istanbul or not around here we know it's awesome because it's taxi square it's touristy uh, a little bit, of course, we're, we're nestled into a neighborhood area. Just the hilly areas. It's so old. There's so much history, mm-hmm. you know? It's just a, a great feeling being in Istanbul. I, I had no idea that we'd like it this much mm-hmm. from first impressions. I'm actually, yeah. I'm a bit surprised. We've been here for a couple days. We really wanted to get a video out right away because our experience is always best when people know we're in the area because mm-hmm. then we start getting a whole bunch of comments about you should try this out, you should try this out, you should do this, you should do this, and it makes the whole experience of us traveling to a country so much better. So in addition to Istanbul being so walkable, they have a really good metro system. 
and we've uh, already used it a few times mm -hmm. and it's very reasonably priced. You um, get these cards called the Istanbul cart. Is cart a word for card? In I'm pretty sure. Okay, so it's called Istanbul cart, which I guess is the Istanbul card. And there are machines where you can go and you pay like a dollar and you and they, they will dispense the this card that, you know, gets you through the turnstiles at the Metro. Now we didn't know this, but because like in uh, other places, like in, you know, Malaysia, you have to clock in and clock out and then mm -hmm. that's when they charge you. But depending on how far you go, but in Istanbul, it's simply you clock in and then you don't clock out because it's the same price uh, every time you clock in. So as a family, you could just get away with having one card. Mm -hmm. We didn't know that, so we got four cards. The cards themselves are only like one US dollar, so it's not like it's a uh, killer, but you could get away with just, you know, if you're a couple or you're here for a few days, just get one card, mm -hmm. you know, log in to get to the turnstile, then pass it to the next person and they log in and every time it's swiped, it just charges. Right. So, but anyway, we got four cards now, not a big deal. But it, very clean. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say, That that's what, uh, stuck out the most to me is that how clean the uh, underground tunnels were. Yeah, and very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, just, you know, just very nice. Everyone's so polite. Um, you know, everyone's got their mask on anyway, so everyone's yeah. keeping their distance. But I did notice another thing. Next to the machine where you get the Istanbul cart, there are uh, multiple uh, ATMs. And the ATMs not only dispense Turkish Lira, but they also dispense euros and USD, US dollars. I thought that was interesting. Besides the tea reminding us of Pakistan, um, the area actually reminds us a lot of Mexico City because it's so easily walkable and because uh, there's always these carts of fresh produce. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of uh, vendors come down the various streets and yeah. call out to you. Out. Yeah. And uh, that's another thing that you would experience in Mexico City is these guys going around in trucks, you know, selling their wares or asking for, uh, you know, things you need to get rid of. A guy walking with a little hand cart full of tomatoes or a guy right. driving a truck full of all kinds of different produce, you know, mm -hmm. calling out, hey, this is for sale or whatever. I, I saw some lady with a whole bunch of like furs yelling out. Anyway, street vendors just walking down the street. It's 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 just awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a um, you know a couple walking streets that are very similar. And we were in the historic area of Mexico City, and now we're kind of in a historic area here as well. And it's just very similar. And we just it's just it's very inviting mm -hmm. to say the least. Okay, so after having a, such an awesome breakfast, we wanted to have an equally awesome dinner. We went again to Google again to check out the reviews and we found a really awesome kebab place. Yeah, kebabs, turkey, yeah, kind of kind of what you think of, well, I, at least what I think of when I hear Istanbul or Turkey, I think of kebabs. So we took a 20, 30 minute walk to there in the opposite direction of where we went for breakfast. <laughs> so we're off on a little bit of adventure here. We're uh, off to get some kebab, but we decided we'd walk about 20, 25 minutes, but uh, there's some closed off streets, so it's making it very adventurous. Another left. Up to here, the next one, either one. Yeah, here's good. That's true. You're missing that. Wow. Yeah.
delicious. Okay, so we got. Uh, a ways to go. A little ways to go. A few blocks. Okay. We'll be there in five minutes. American one. Sweet old two dollars. So we're in here. Um, well, right there? Okay. Yeah, it's fine. And then when we got there, it was so cool because they have all these notes and money from all over just taped to the wall. And if you saw the uh, post that was done, there's a picture there of that. Oh yeah, on Instagram. By the way, Aiden, A-Man is doing all the Instagram uh, now for Where the Jones. So if you guys want to go over to Instagram, Where the Jones Fam mm -hmm. or something. Exactly. Where the Jones Fam. Uh, it's, you know, over at Instagram. Check out Aiden is 100% in charge of that. He's posting all the pictures, doing all that. So show, show up there, give him some love because uh, he's really he's really working on it now so he's he's trying to he's trying to up his uh instagram game and he's you know just kind of cataloging what the the jones fam is doing because instagram's never been a thing that we really did yeah. but uh aiden uh wanted to take it over so we're like cool yeah so the dinner was fantabulous yeah. i mean uh it all didn't come out at the same time but that was okay uh all of the like vegetables and dips came out with the first order of the yeah. kebabs and then they would bring out the next set of kebabs and then the next set of kebabs and so then so much to choose from <laughs> that's like that's it's so awesome because you have all these little things to eat right and everybody yeah. gets to try everything and if you watch our videos for any period of time you know we like to try everyone else's food we're constantly yeah. sharing uh, you know, people constantly commenting on that we're always sharing each other's foods, and that's cool. But that's just kind of that's just how we do it. Plus, you know, if, you know, we want to all order separate things so we get to taste it. But mm -hmm. in, uh, turkey doesn't matter because you're all just kind of picking. You mm -hmm. know what? Uh, it's not you know separate. You know, everyone gets their separate plates, which we would share regardless. But this just is just you know so much variety, which is. And then there's other there's other foods that I mean it's just a turkey thing it's just mm -hmm. a, you know that it I'm is. seeing that you just you have a little bits of things and you get to try it all and I, it's just so like near and dear to my heart to eat like that it's just <laughs> awesome yeah so there's like you know a uh, tangy cheese garlic dip and a spicy tomato dip and fresh. Uh, uh, tomato and onion chopped up together and you just spoon it onto the bread that they serve with it. Yeah, you just go at it. It's just like a free-for-all and everybody's just a free-for-all, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah. So the meats were a little bit of chicken, a little bit of beef, and a lot of lamb. So it was uh, lamb kebab, lamb ribs, lamb chops, and then uh, chicken kebab and beef kebab. Maybe make something that for five. For, oh, for, this is for five people? Yeah. Okay, let's do this then. Yeah. Five people. Uh, do you want to drink something? Uh, yes, please. Uh, the uh, I run. Where's this uh, bakery at? Oh, right there. Okay. It's really colorful. Looks inviting. Yeah, okay. Maybe we'll stop by. How is it, man? <laughs> it's freaking awesome, isn't it? Gotta have the full experience. I'm overwhelmed. Yeah, and there's more coming too. We can't be handled with these big platters and stuff. This is an epic meal. Bavarians. Mom, can you pass me this one? Or it's like me parsley. 
Uh, I run? Yeah. I run? Uh, what's the other yogurt drink that we usually get? The lassie? Yeah, it's a salty lassie. Nice. That's what it tastes Turkish is easily becoming one of my favorite cuisines. This was an awesome pick. <laughs> okay, so here's the chops. So those are ribs. Ribs, like beef, huh? Lamb. Oh, these are lamb. <laughs> lamb chops. And what were these though? What was lamb ribs and lamb chops? Wow. These look like this looks like beef. You can try it. It's definitely lamb, but he's like beef. So it's it's lamb approved by Aiden, and Aiden's not a big lamb fan, so that means something. That means they cook their lamb really well. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I mean, this is fabulous. Barbecue stuff. Really? Ooh. Yeah. Like fire. But these, these, uh, these are hot, but they're really tasty. That is some of the best lamb I've ever had in my life. So good. Oh, I just want to slap your grandmama. What? That's so good, it makes you want to slap your grandma. You ever heard of that? No. You've no. never heard that? No. Really? When something's so good, you're like, you want to slap your grandma because she never made something that good for you? You've never heard that? No. Wow. I'll have to search it up. Oh. And 50,000 people that are going to watch this video. So while we were eating, I was looking out the window and I saw, hey, there's a bakery right there. Let's go check that out. And so we finished eating and um, had a nice tea at the end of dinner and went to check out the bakery and got some Turkish cookies and a few other different pastries. And because we bought so much, the guy gave us each a uh, Turkish cream pastry afterwards. Yeah, the raspberry cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. it was delicious. Super nice. Yeah. So that was our first impressions of Istanbul and we are liking it so far. So hit us up if you uh, want to let us know if there's your favorite restaurant or favorite place to go, a park, a hike, a dinner. Anything, really. You know, mm -hmm. a, a, a neighbor that you like a whole bunch that likes to, you know, entertain foreigners for good Turkish meals. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, okay good, so that's it. Uh, we got a busy day planned. Uh, we're off, uh, I guess, here in a little while to go uh, enjoy some balik ekmek. Yeah. Balik and ekmek. And some Turkish delight. Ah, balik ekmek and some Turkish delight. So if you know what balik ekmek is, 
then you know what it is. And if you don't, then watch our next video. Yep.